I need you to stay. Okay, hello friends. Um, today we're doing the second video of my social distancing. I'm sorry, that's not a good joke, but <clears throat> there's a lot of pollen on this patio. Um, second video, second kind of workout option. Today I want to do um, a Pilates format for multiple reasons. One being um, Kyle and Rachel and Robert are all sore and mad at me from our last workout. And two, um, it's a good recovery type of workout. It helps on focus on our stabilizers, our core, strengthening those as well as Pilates is really, Pilates and yoga are both really focused on making sure we're evenly working both sides and that we have balance in our muscles. Rather than a lot of other workouts, we tend to favor some sides and strengthen them a little bit more and we get a little uneven, which can cause a lot of pain in our body and just imbalances. And Pilates and yoga are good active recovery workouts to help keep our body in good positions and stabilized. Um, and then thirdly, I just uh, really like teaching Pilates. It has been a very long time since I actually taught a Pilates class besides just like doing it in my living room. So I think this will be fun for me, but I will say my, my cueing is probably not going to be like <laughs> super on point because it's been a while since I've had to like verbally describe these exercises to somebody else. And then lastly, um, when making these little videos for however long this lasts, um, it's important when it comes to working out that you actually find the style of working out that you enjoy. And since I'm trained in multiple different formats of teaching, I want to kind of touch base on all of those formats so that you can find the style of working out that you like, even if that's like all you accomplish during our social distancing self quarantine time we're living right now. Um, cause a lot of times people see like a post on Instagram and this person's like, I lost this much weight doing this, or I got this body doing this type of workout. And then they try to shove themselves into that workout and follow that routine. But it doesn't necessarily mean it's what's good for them because they might not like it. And if you don't like the workout you're doing, <laughs> you're probably not going to stick out with it because you don't like it. It's not fun for you. Um, so I also just kind of want to give varieties of different styles of working out. So hopefully you can kind of find your little niche that you like. Um, I think that's it. Also, I don't have a shirt on today. I'm just wearing a sports bra. So you're going to see all my little belly rolls. And hopefully they'll make you feel better about your belly rolls. Because we all got belly rolls, my dude. And if one person watching this video feels less self-conscious about their belly rolls after doing it, then that means the world is a fraction less self-conscious and I think that's a good world to live in. So that's what we're going to do. Um, I have my workout or class written in my handy dandy gold planner given to me by a very lovely lady. Um, so that's what we're gonna do. I am gonna have to reference it throughout this because I'm not gonna remember everything I wrote down today. Um, I didn't remember everything I wrote down last time. I'm also probably going to have to move this camera, depending on if we're standing or on the floor. But I tried to plan it to where we just started standing and then end on the floor. So, with that, let's get into it. My nose is full of snot because I just swept up a whole bunch of pollen. You're welcome for that information. Okay. <coughs> We're going to start with a swan dive stretch. So you're going to take a big breath in and then exhale. Take those arms down and reach towards the ground. If you are reaching at your knees, your toes, flat on the ground, wherever you're at is totally cool. You just want to feel that pull in the back of your hamstrings. Make sure your back is staying straight and you're not ooh, I almost over, completely rounded. That's going to stretch your back more than your hamstrings. So you're here. And then when you roll up, soft bend on those knees and slowly roll up one vertebrae at a time. Lift your head last. We're gonna do that two more times. Inhale. And exhale, take it down. And slowly roll up one vertebrae at a time. One more time. Inhale. And exhale, take it down. Slow 
slowly roll up. One leg at a time, lift that head last. All right, next we're just gonna. Oh, I feel like a little bit. We're just gonna roll that neck out. So you're just gonna take it to your right side five times. That's two, three, four. Give me one more. And to the opposite side. We're just trying to loosen those muscles up a little bit. We've all probably been doing a lot of sitting. I have. All I've done is my animal crossing. One more. And bring that head back to center. We're going to roll our shoulders backwards, squeeze them together, and bringing them back forward. That's two, three, four, five, and we're forward. One, two, three, four, and five. I took my glasses off again, so I, I can't see anything if I'm squinting. That's why. All right, we're gonna bring our wrists together and you're just gonna roll them out, loosen them up a little bit. Four, five, take it the other direction. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. And the next one, you can't see my feet, but if your feet are flat, we're rocking up onto those toes and then rocking back onto those heels, onto your toes onto your heels. Feet are forward. They're not pigeon toed out or in. Straight forward. That's one. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Suspicious running band. Eight. Two more. Nine. That's one. Two. All right. And last but not least, we're going to take those feet out into like a sumo, plie squat, whatever you want to call it. You're going to inhale and then exhale. Sink it down. Those hands are on your knees. I think I have a hole right here in my pants. If you can see it, you're welcome. We're going to inhale and exhale. Turn it to the side, stretching out our back. Inhale back to center. And exhale. Ooh, my back out. Inhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. We're gonna do one more to both sides. Inhale, exhale. And one more. Straighten out those legs, hang down, and soften those knees, slowly roll up. That head I think it might start raining, which if it does, honestly, I'm dedicating. The camera's not going to get wet. I don't think I'll get wet, but if I do, I will. Alright. So we're going to start with serve the tray. This is an arm workout. You can do this with some lightweight dumbbells, or if you have like some weighted little weight balls, if you have water bottles, anything that has some weight to it, you can hold. I'm going to do everything without weight today. This is called serve the tray. So your arms are tight by your side. You're kind of squeezing those shoulder blades together. Hands are out in front of you. You're going to inhale, extend those hands out, and exhale, bring them back. Inhale, and exhale. Inhale, and exhale. You want to kind of resist yourself as you do this. You're not just easily doing it. You're keeping those muscles tight. Also, your feet are in a V position as you're doing this. I lost count, but I think give me about five more. We're going for 15 to 20. Two more. <coughs> that pollen is still in my face and I'm choking on my snow. Okay, next we're going to do a front bicep curl. So your arms are at a 90 degree angle. You're touching those shoulders and then bringing them out. 
and back in. Same thing, you want to resist yourself as you do this. You want to exhale as you touch your shoulders, inhale as you extend. We're going to do 15 to 20 of those. One. Two. Exhale. Three. Exhale. Four. Exhale. Five. Exhale. You're going to give me 10 more. Make sure you're inhaling and exhaling. You're staying nice and tall. Inhaling and exhaling. Give me five more. Five. You can do this one with weights as well. Four. Three. Two. Last one. Perfect. All right. Next, we're going to do the bug. So your legs are about shoulder width apart. You are hinged at your hips, back is straight, we're not rounding, we're straight. Arms are going down and you're bringing them up, squeezing those shoulder blades and then coming back down center. If you are holding some form of weight for this, make sure your shoulder blades are still like, your shoulders are staying back. You don't ever want to drop forward. That's a bad position to be in. We're keeping them back the whole time. Boom, boom. All right, we're gonna do 15 to 20 of those. In three, two, one. Just roll your shoulders back for a second. Make sure you're keeping them back. I can feel mine dropping forward. So you just want to do a body check right there. Give me five more. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Relax. Come up. Make sure I came up really fast right there. Make sure anytime you're in a position, you're coming up slow. That head's coming up last. All right, mm -hmm. last thing we're going to do for upper body, we are going to have to get down on the ground. <laughs> Meh. There's my feet, they're probably dirty because this patio is not very clean, but I tried. Oh, oh what? It's the rip in my pants. You're welcome for that. Is that too close to me? It is. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Let me... Technical difficulties, y'all. Ow, my shoulder just exploded. Is that better? No, not really. Up here would be perfect. So what can I? balance it on. I guess the same thing I had it open. But I'm causing destruction. Okay. <laughs> we did it, team. Okay. Next, for our last upper body, we have a tricep push-up. So you can always take variations to this, same as we did on our last workout. You can do um, push up on your knees or up on your feet. So you're here. For this one, you wanna make sure your arms are tight by your side. Boom, you're not out here, you're not out here. You are touching your side. Your elbows are going straight back behind you. So level one, you're down here on your knees. Make sure those hips are nice and line. You're not sagging down. That butt isn't up in the air. You're here, going straight back and down, rocking onto those quads, and then back up onto those knees. Level two, you're up on your feet. Boom, boom. 
same thing. 15 to 20 of those. In three, two, I have to get enough space for myself. And one. One, two, exhale as you come up. Three, four, five, give me 10 more. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, <laughs> couldn't count, four, three, two, and one. Oh, my arms are tired from my last workout, y'all. All right, how about I move that there, and then I can actually see. Next, we're gonna be laying on our stomachs. We're starting with a half cobra. If you can do a full cobra, that's super great. But we're starting with a half. Those arms are tight by your side. Those hands are out in front of your shoulders. Fingertips are facing forward. You don't want them all the way out. Just kind of like, if I were to rest down, my shoulders are like behind my wrist. That's my best explanation. Okay. You're weighing down, and then you're just pressing up until your chest is lifted, but those arms are still on the ground. We're gonna do 15 of those. And starting down, press it up. That's one. Exhale as you come up. Two. Three. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. Give me about 10 more. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, last one, and I'll sit down. Take your knees about mat width apart. If you're not using a mat, then about a little wider, a little wider, wider, there we go, <laughs> than your shoulders. And you're gonna press back, extending those arms out in front of you. And just relax there for 30 seconds. Stay there for about 10 more seconds. I'm thirsty. And go ahead and lay back down onto your mat. Okay, now we're gonna do a full cobra. I'm so convinced it's gonna rain on me. Oh well. Your arms are in that same position, but this time you are pressing up, extending those arms up as well. You don't wanna lock them out. You wanna keep a soft little bit. You never wanna lock out your joints. It's always a bad time. A bad time for your joints, no fun. Same thing. We're gonna do about 15 of those. If you get to 15 and wanna keep going, you can go up to 20, that's fine. And we will go in three, two, one. Press it up, exhale. Inhale, take it down. Up, exhale. Inhale, take it down. And keep going. Ten more. This is working that lower back for you, which is probably pretty tight because we've probably all been doing a lot of sitting. Eight. Seven. 
six, five, four, Relax it down, knees are not with the part, and press it back. From here, weave that right arm underneath your left. You're going down and walking that left hand to the right side of your mat. Relax it there. And come back up. Switching sides, weaving that left underneath and walking that right side over. And come back up. Next one, I don't necessarily have space for. I'm a little spatially challenged at the moment. Um, so I'm kind of done. That's my those are words. <laughs> I'm gonna demonstrate and then probably have to turn my body facing forward so you won't be able to see as well. But you're laying on your stomach. You're extending your legs straight back behind. I'm gonna put my arms through these bars and your arms straight out in front of you. And you're pedaling your arms and legs up and down as if you're swimming. I have to turn this direction. <laughs> There's like random people walking by walking their dogs. They're very confused at what I'm doing. Okay, so this is a better way to show you. So you're like this, blah, 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 blah. So you're literally just like a very ineffective swimmer. If we were actually in water, this swimming style would not go well for you. But that's what it's called. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do that for two times for 30 seconds. In three, Two, one, swim it out. Ouch, I kicked the table. You got about 20 more seconds. Obviously, this is not the most accurate amount of seconds I'm counting in my head. And five, four, three, two, and one, relax. I'm not gonna lie, y'all. Forgot to put deodorant on. My armpits smell bad. And doing that's just like wafting a smell into my face. So <laughs> that's unpleasant. Okay. One more time. In three, dos, uno. Make sure you're controlling that breathing. You want to keep that chest lifted up off the mat. The higher you lift it, the harder it's gonna be. About 15 more seconds, I think. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. I'm tired, y'all. I haven't done any movement today, so this is exhausting. Okay, next we're gonna do cat cow. This has a bunch of different names, just depending on if you're talking about it. And yoga, if you're talking about a lot of these, if you're, I don't know. I actually think maybe yoga calls it cat cow, and Pilates calls it like something else. I don't know. You're on your hands and knees. Your knees are hip width apart. Hands are straight down, elbows in line with those shoulders and wrists. You're not out here, you're not back here. Boom. Here, a nice table, and then you are rounding up like you're a scared cat. You're drawing that belly button into that spine. Boom. And then you're relaxing it down, letting that belly hang. Booties up, shoulders are back. Boom. And boom. We're gonna do 20 of those. In three, two, one. Exit. And inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, keep going. Exhale, inhale. Whew. 
Make sure you draw on that belly button in. Give me 10 more. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, last one, exhale, in, inhale, relax, alright, from there we're going to work on our obliques, our side a little bit, we're going to do a side plank, there's going to be multiple variations you can take to this plank, okay, so you're on your side, um, first thing, you can do a variation with that arm, you can be down on your elbow right here, making sure we're nice and in line, or you can be up on your hand, making sure you're in line. If you take it out, you're gonna feel a little bit more of a burn on that shoulder, um, but it will stabilize you a little bit better. Other variations you can take, you can take it down onto a knee, boom, holding it right here. This can be level one, level two, you're up on those feet, level three, you have that leg lifted. That's gonna be up to you. We're gonna hold it for 30 seconds, rotate to the other side, and hold it for another 30 seconds. For most of these moves, you can do each of them for like one to three reps if you want to add some intensity, make it a little bit harder um, for time's sake, and then also just for the fact I'm trying to beat some weather right here, we're just gonna do everything as we've been doing it, which is just one time. All right, get ready to go in. Three, two, one, press it up. Make sure you breathe, core is nice and tight. You're prepping like you're gonna get punched in the stomach. Give me 15 more seconds. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Other side. Let me get some water. It's hot out here. Well, it's very humid. It's making me sweaty. Look, two for two. My Mormon neighbors walked by again. Just like they did yesterday. Or the day before, whenever that was. Okay. I forgot, we haven't done this idea. So same thing, you're here, you can be down on that elbow, on your knee, out, you scoop up on your feet, or lift it. I don't have too much room here, spatially challenged, 30 seconds, and oh, three, two, one, press it up. You can also have the option of your foot in front or stacked on top. Fifteen more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Bring it down. Okay. what I do. I write stuff down and I don't remember the real name. So I make up a name and then I don't know what I'm talking about. Oh, next, you're going to sit. You're going to have your feet about mat width apart. If you're not have talking is so hard right now. What was I saying? Oh, if you don't have a mat, your feet are going to be about a little wider than shoulder width. They're just in a small little V. Arms are in a T straight out to the side. We're inhaling and exhaling, reaching towards our toes. If this is as far as you can reach, awesome. If you can touch your toes, awesome. If you can go past your toes, you're still awesome. You are trying your best and that's what matters. Um, this is gonna help just stretch us out a little bit, stretch out our back, stretch out our hamstrings, all that jazz. We're gonna do that in three, two, one, 
inhale and exhale reach inhale and opposite side exhale reach that's one inhale and exhale that's two I smell the rain inhale and exhale inhale and exhale inhale and exhale um, also for this make sure you're not rounding too much as you go down I I can feel myself in a little bit you do want to try and keep that back straight keep it going control that breathing more feel welcome to go to slower pace and I'm going as I said I'm kind of trying to beat the rain as well as not have this be like a hundred year long video so take it nice and slow if you want give me three more two more last one reach both sides Next we're gonna, um, okay, I think it's better if I face this direction because then my head won't get cut out. Next we're gonna do the single leg stretch. So, options you can take here. You are laying back on that mat. Bada bing, bada boom. I don't know how well you can see me because I can't see that far. But, you're here. You can, level one, keep your upper body down on the ground. You're taking one leg back, pulling it in towards your knee, extending the other leg you want to point in that toe. We're not flexed, we're pointed. Out, pulling it in. You are exhaling and inhaling, switching. Right here, boom, boom. Level two, you are keeping that neck and shoulder up off the ground, boom, boom. Level three, this is technically a different exercise, but it's basically just a difficulter, difficulter version of this, and that leg is straight. Boom, you're pulling it down. Boom. This is engaging that core and stretching you out. I'm gonna stay right here. We're gonna do that in three, two, one. Here, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Try and pull that knee in a little bit closer as you exhale. Once again, like I said, you can relax that head down. In Pilates and even yoga, it takes a while to build up the neck muscles to like not have your neck cramping from holding it up so much. So if you're feeling that, that's totally fine. I know my neck's eventually going to get tired here in a second, so. Control that breathing. Five more. Five. Four. Three. We need some more each side. One more each side. Relax it down. We're gonna do something called dead bug. Those legs are tabletop. Arms are straight up in the air. Dropping those arms down to your left side and knees to the right. You wanna try and keep those shoulder blades down. As you twist, you can extend that top leg to deepen the stretch. Yeah, my armpits are really small. Ooh, I felt the rain drop. And come back center. Other side. Oh, this side is tight. And you can extend that top leg for a deeper stretch. And come back center. Beautiful. All right. Next, let me scoot my planner a little bit further away from the, the outside world. We're going to do the same thing, but with both legs. So you're here. Boom and extending them out. 
boom, exhale, pull them in, inhale, extend them out. Here's the thing. Ooh, my pants are being weird. Okay. Um, same thing with this one. You can keep your head down, or you can lift them up off the neck. We're going to do 15 of those. In three, two, one. Pull those knees in, and extend them out. In, and extend them out. You can do this straight legged again. Boom, and open up. So you have that option. But I'm right here. Boom, boom. Exhaling, inhaling. Give me about five, or not five, ten more. I can't count. I'm bad at math. Four, three, two, last one, and mix it. Relax. I'm gonna be real with y'all. If you notice my counting's not right, it's cause I'm not counting well. It's hard to talk and count at the same time, you know? Okay, what's next? Oh, mm, these next ones are hard. Okay, so next we're gonna do the hundreds. They're very famous in the Pilates world. If you go to Pilates class, you're probably gonna do 100s. Um, there is variations of the 100s. We are just gonna do kind of the simplest version. This whole class, um, I'm gonna call it a class. This whole class, I have tried to keep on the simpler side. It's more of like an introduction to kind of Pilates than doing a bunch of the crazy stuff you would do if you actually went out to a Pilates class. Even if you went to a beginner, I can't talk. Even if you went out to a beginner's class, you would probably be doing a little bit more complicated stuff than what we're doing right now. But since there's not someone there to physically check your form, um, I want to keep it a little bit simple. And then the more videos I do like this, the more we'll complicate it, make it weird. Do some of my favorite moves. Some of my favorite ones are literally my favorite because I think they're funny. I think doing them is funny and they make me happy because I feel like a goofball doing them. Um, so we're going to do 100. Here are your options, y'all. You're laying back. So we, you can have your knees on the ground. You can have them in tabletop or you can have them straight up. Those are kind of your options for today. We were lifting your head, neck, and shoulders up off of the mat. I should have said this way earlier, but anytime we're lifting our head up off the mat and our shoulders up off the mat, you want to make sure you're not completely tucking that chin down, and you want to make sure you're not throwing it back either. There should be about a lemon or a tennis ball, that kind of shape range space in between your neck and your, your chin and your chest. You don't ever want to be here. We're going to cut off breathing. We're not going to breathe as well. You also don't want to be here. You're going to strain your neck. You're going to make it really tired. So you're just right here. You're just a nice little tuck. A ball could fit right there. So we're doing that. We're lifted up. We're keeping that nice little space right here. And you're pulsing your arms for five. You're breathing in. So one, two, three, four, five. You're inhaling that whole time. And then exhaling for another five. One, two, three, four, five. Exhaling that whole time. We're going to keep doing that. <clears throat> so, sorry, I laid down and all of the mucus went to the back of my throat and I tried not to make a gross noise. Um, we're going to do that five times. So, you're going to do about 50 all together. Does that make sense? Is my math right here? You're inhaling for five, exhaling for five. We're going to do that five times. And then we're going to relax. And then we're going to do it another five times. And then we'll have done 100 the 100s. Does that sound good? Does that make sense? I don't know. Okay. Once again, feet are down here or extended. In. I have to pee. Okay. Little, little, little. I can't talk. What the heck? Okay. You're here and we'll go in. Three, 
two, one, lift it up, one, two, three, four, five, exhale, one, two, three, four, five, inhale, one, two, three, four, five, exhale, one, two, three, four, five, inhale, one, two, three, four, five, exhale, one, two, three, four, five, inhale, one, two, three, four, five, exhale, one, two, three, four, five, inhale, one, two, three, four, five, exhale, one, two, three, four, five, relax it down. So anytime you're doing these, you kind of want to do some checks with your body while it's happening. I could feel the longer I was going, I was like dropping my feet. I kind of looked over here to kind of see. I'm very blind right now, but that needed to bring them up more into a tabletop position. Also, I could feel myself extending my neck out and not keeping it tucked in. So just check in with your body. Try to gauge your own form on these things. Obviously, if you can't see yourself, you're not going to be able to correct it as well as if you could see yourself. Okay. We're gonna do that one more time. Lay it back. And we'll go in three, two, one, up. Inhale. One, two, three, four, five. Exhale. One, two, three, four, five. Inhale. One, two, three, four, five. Exhale. One, two, three, four, five. Inhale. One, two, three, four, five. Exhale. One. Two, three, four, five. Inhale. One, two, three, four, five. Exhale. One, two, three, four, five. Inhale. One, two, three, four, five. Exhale. One, two, three, four, five. Relax. <sighs> okay. Now we're gonna get to one of my favorite sections of any Pilates class. My headband feels like it's not staying on my head. Um, this is a place that a lot of people struggle because we don't work on our hip flexors a lot. We don't work on our hips a lot. They tend to stay pretty tight uh, just in life because in society, we just we sit a lot nowadays, and especially when we're staying home and most people are playing video games or on their phone or their computer or whatever and we're just we're sitting a lot so this is a good way to strengthen them as well as kind of stretch them out and loosen them up um we have one i wrote down that there's actually no physical room to do so we're gonna skip it and we'll do it on a later date when i am more equipped with space because i will play it better but growing pains we're learning people we're trapped in our houses and i'm figuring it out as we go so we're gonna start with some sideline leg lifts. You have options here. Well, first off, you're laying on your hip. Your legs are straight out just to the side of you. You can be up on your elbow. You can you can you can strike a draw me like a French girl pose, laying down on your side. You can even rest that head all the way down. It's gonna be whatever's most comfortable for you. I like to strike one of these personally. Wow. My arm. A different color than the stomach? I mean, probably. Um, ADD, y'all. It's real right now. Okay, for that leg lift, you can't see the bottom of my legs, but your legs are just straight out. Your foot, you're going to point your toe. Point, that's a flex. That's a point. Yeah? Oh, my foot, <laughs> Charlie Horst. <laughs> you're going to point your toe, and you're going to lift it up parallel, and then you're going to flex it and bring it back down. Point it up, flex, back down. If you don't have the range of motion to get it up here, that's fine. Just go up as high as you can, and you're going to work on that range of motion. Just work on that hip. All right. We're going to do 15 of those, and then roll over. Whoa. I lied. We're going to do all of them on one side, and then roll over it and do all of them on the other side. So for this arm, you can keep it kind of just laying here. You can also stabilize yourself if you feel like you're kind of wibbly wobbly and put that hand in front of you, or you can kind of just flop it around. All right, we'll go in three, two, one. Point that toe and come up and flex it down. Point up and flex it down. 
this is always like anytime I teach a Pilates class and it's been literal years since I have this is my favorite I don't know why I really love this section I find it very pleasing I think it feels good I don't know I love it eight nine and ten give me five more five Make sure you're still pointing and flexing that foot. Two. And last one. Relax that leg down. You should have felt it here a little bit. Okay, next, you're going to take this top leg. Boom. Chapeau. You're going to cross it over the front. If you can't comfortably hold your foot there, physically hold it there. Or if you can't comfortably just kind of sit like this, straight a little, straight a little model pose chill here if you have to hold your foot that's fine if you aren't flexible enough to get your foot up here that's cool you can keep it further down just try and keep it somewhere that's comfortable for you you're gonna take that bottom leg and press it up towards the sky and back down boom boom that's gonna work our inner thigh out all right we're gonna do 15 of those i have to pee so bad but we're close to the end and i'm dedicated so let me just okay I had a Gemini trick myself. Let's go. One. Two. Exhale as you press it up. Three. Inhale. Exhale. Four. Five. Keep that going. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Just like that. Give me five more. Five. Four. Three two one relax it down all right we have one more on this side and then we're gonna flop around to the other side this one is my favorite i'm gonna be real i don't i don't remember the name of this move so i'll figure it out and let you know later bellies someone's barbecuing Or some, yeah, someone's just someone's barbecuing or has like a propane tank. Oh, cat! Hi, kitty! Oh, you're so cute! Okay, sorry. That's a very cute cat. If it didn't take so much work to get my phone to stay up, I would show you this cat. Okay, I'm gonna describe it. It's gray, and that's all I can tell because I can't see. And I think it's got white feet. I don't know why I said I was gonna describe it. I can't I literally see myself. Okay. You're here. You're done. <laughs> I'm sorry. Let me regroup myself. Same thing as before, we're laying on our side. You're gonna bring that toe to your knee, your toe is pointed, and then you're gonna straighten it up, flex that foot, and bring it down. Toe to knee, up, bring it down. You're flexing, boom, on the way down. You're pointed as you come to your knee, and go up. We'll do this for 15 in three, two, one, in, up, flex, down, in, up, flex, down, in, up, flex, down, toe to knee, up, flex, down, just like that, boom, boom, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, perfect. Keep that going. You should feel it here. I feel the burn. I don't know if it's because my legs are sore because we did everything on one side. I think this is number nine. I've done a bad job at counting. That's ten. Give me five more. Five. Four. Three. Two. Last one. Okay, we're gonna roll over to the other side. If you're, you know, not me, you can like actually physically just roll over and have your back facing, but so that you guys can see me. I'ma just uh, uh, do one of them. Um, my head might get cut out, but close enough. Same thing. 
You can hold yourself up. You can hit one of these. You can just lay all the way down. It don't matter none. No, my hat's gonna disappear, so. Bye. Oh, I think my hat's gone. Okay. Same thing. You're taking that foot up, flexing and coming down for 15. In three, two, one. Up and down. Up and down. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Here we about ten more. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four, three, two, one. Okay. Next, you're taking that foot, you're crossing it over, you're either here, 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 wherever's comfortable. Taking that bottom foot and pressing it up for 15. In three, two, one. Exhale, inhale. Exhale. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, give me 10 more, 10, 9, 8, you should feel it in my inner thigh, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Relax it down. All right, and then we have that toe to knee up and bring it down. In three, two, one. Toe to knee up and down. Toe is pointed and flexed. Toe is pointed and flexed. Toe is pointed and flexed. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale, inhale. Give me five more. Five, four, three, two, and one. And relax. All right, that's it. And now we're gonna stretch. So, while you're already sitting down, take those knees and tuck them into your side. Mm -mm -mm. Embrace your belly rolls. Love them. Tell them they're cute. You're cute. Move on with your day. Take your hand. Cross it across your knees. Seatbelt action. This hand is up. And you're reaching to the side, stretching this side out. This is mermaid pose. Say hello to the sailors. Hello. We're sitting on our rock. We're being a cute mermaid. And taking that chest and you're twisting it and then looking down, getting a little bit more of that back action. My legs are hairy, yo. But I ain't going nowhere, so. <clears throat> and come back up. Switch those feet to the other side. You tucked it in. You're saying hello to your belly rolls, that they're cute, you're cute. You're moving on. Seatbelt action, hand is up, and you're reaching towards those toes. You're saying hi to the sailors. You're sitting on your imaginary mermaid rock, feeling that stretch in your sides. Oh, that feels good. My armpit smells like when a towel gets wet, but then like just sits and dries, like a musty towel. I took a shower, so it's just my natural smell. Okay, and take that chest, look down towards your toes. Take a big whiff of your feet. Look at your hairy legs. Discover a freckle on your calf. Reach, reach, reach. Oh, come up. Take a sip of your water if you want to.
me actively really having to pee and then drinking water is something I hate about myself. Okay, because it's just making it worse. I'm there. We're here. We're gonna take this foot up and lean forward, stretching out that hip flexor. This is a good stretch for anyone who possibly wants to try and learn splits. Hold it for about 30 seconds a day, stretching this out. Boom, boom, boom. <clears throat> and you're gonna straighten that leg out and sit back down onto your butt. Feeling that stretch in the back of your leg on your hamstring. Toes are pointed, you can pull them towards you to deepen the stretch. This is the opposite or the second stretch you'd wanna do if you really wanna focus on trying to learn your splits. So there's that information. Um, which same thing, you'd wanna hold it for about 30 seconds. If you hold a stretch for less than 30 seconds, uh, you're not really gonna maintain that stretch. It's just gonna kinda tighten back up. And there's a whole bunch of arguments in what type of stretching is best to do, but I'm not gonna get into that right now. And come up, I have to pee so bad. Oh my God, okay, other side. Just turn it around, boom, press that hip flexor down. That stretch should feel good because we've probably been sitting a lot. If you're here, it's gonna be a little bit easier than if you come up, you can have your hands on your knees, down on the ground, whatever. Okay, calm down, Mr. Race Force. Go, go, speed racer. And extend it back. Hey, turn my toe And come to the front, just sit crisscross on your mat. If you don't like sitting crisscross, just sit comfortably. You're gonna sit nice and tall. Take the arm and bring it across your chest. Make sure that shoulder is down away from your ear. You're making sure when you're pressing, you're pressing, if you wanna use your hand, your, I kinda use my forearm and just let my hand rest. Um, you're pressing on your forearm or you're grabbing the back of your tricep. You're not pressing on that elbow. I'm touching my elbow, but see the stretch is still happening. I'm not pressing on it. And switch sides. All right, you're gonna take your hands back behind, stretch out those triceps. Itch your back simultaneously because you've got an itchy back. Smell your armpits and be disappointed in yourself. You're going to be a smelly switch. And just roll those shoulders back. Oh, forward. Take that neck. Place that hand on top and walk those fingertips out. Oh, other side. Oh, it feels so good. This is a great stretch to do if you have like a tension headache. I do it a lot. Oh, and relax. Give yourself a round of applause. Give yourself a thumbs up. Tell yourself you're awesome. Let me be able to see. Oh, what a beautiful world I can see. Okay, come here, my friends. So, um, a couple things before I leave you forever. There was a piece of lint stuck in my head the whole time. Um, a couple things I just want to touch on. I could easily go through and edit this video and edit all my mess ups and stuff, but that's not something I'm ever going to do. Who knows how long I'll do these for. It could go past the quarantine. It could just be during the quarantine. But I want them to be real and 100% be me. And help people realize that like fitness is not always perfect. Even the people who are trained in fitness and do it for a living and a job are not perfect human beings. And it gets edited to look that way so frequently. And photos get edited and videos get edited and everything is edited. And that's just no. That's not how it goes. So you're going to see me being me 
messing up, having ADD, being very easily distracted by the outside world, and being dumb. That's just, that, and not like bad dumb, just like goofy dumb. Um, I just want to make that clear. That, that, sh that is how I'm approaching this until I stop doing this. Um, secondly, if you want to follow my Instagram to DM me questions or anything like that, I'll, I don't know, put it on here or something, but it's at wreck it Riley. I think the underscore is after it. So it'd be like R E C I T underscore Riley, R I L E Y. Um, you could follow that and you could DM me if you have any questions about anything. There was a hair stuck to my belly. And... Um, secondly, I'm going to put my Venmo on here. I had someone message me after my last video asking for my Venmo so that they could donate money to me. That makes me feel very weird, but also like I get it. This is something I normally get paid for. I, it's something I do because I love, I've said this before, not because I want to make money, but I will put that option there for anyone who wants to do that or feels better by doing that. Um, <clears throat> Cause, I mean, it was one of my best friends and she was like, I don't want to take advantage of you. But if you do all of these for free and the benefit is that you feel happier and healthier, that is payment enough to me. I don't care how cheesy that sounds. That is 100% truth and fact. So as long as it makes one person's day, I'm living a great life. Uh, I think that's all I really wanted to say. Actually, I'm going to put this at the end, which makes no sense because if someone doesn't want to do this video they're not going to get all the way here but um if you view this like a pilates style workout is not your thing and you're like oh i just want to lift weights i will say this is a really good thing to recover your muscles and it's actually going to help your form because you're going to just be more stable you're going to be more even and everything you're going to be a little bit more flexible and that's going to help improve your form on so many different styles of working out. So it is a good thing to throw into the mix. However, if you don't enjoy it, don't do it. Find the style of working out that you enjoy doing and stick with it. So I will try to keep on kind of posting different uh, formats and hopefully you find one that you like. So thanks for being my friend. Um, I'm going to go sanitize myself and then play more Animal Crossing. And, you know, pay off a debt to a raccoon. That's what's going to happen. Peace out, my dudes. Live your best life.